Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today I wanted to share what we are gifting our 18 month old. So I have shared what we are doing for our older son, he's four and a half, what I'm doing for my husband, and then what I'm doing for their stockings. So those videos will be um, listed down below as well as gifts that we are giving other children, primarily the toddler range from zero to five. Um, and then I have a playlist from previous years of basically ideas for pretty much every person or price point. Um, I do have two videos that are gifts that are under $25 if you are really trying to stay within a budget or you're gifting to someone that you wanna do a little something but you may not know exactly what to do. All of that will be in the description box. And then I do have our blog that also has a gift section or you can search keywords and find what you're looking for there. So that will be linked down below as well as ways to connect. And then the items that I mention in this video, in case you are wanting to pick something up for your own child or you are gifting to someone else. So all of that will be below. And then in no particular order, I'm gonna go through our younger son's Christmas, but his is actually a little different. So. With our younger son, I decided that I'm gonna primarily gift him toys that we saved from our older son, specifically because it is all of the Fisher Price Little People vehicles, <laughs> which if you have children that have played with the Fisher Price Little People, you know that those vehicles and those like sets, they add up. So I calculated how much each like specific vehicle was and they can range anywhere from like 20 to 40 bucks. So I basically collected six vehicles. That was about 120 of what I would have spent. And that is allocated towards his like total amount that I spend on each person in our family. So what I did is every like six months year when I clean out things, if I think that I'm gonna use it again, I like to store it in our attic. So about two years ago, all of the little people stuff, I got a massive tub, I labeled it, I put it in the attic, and I thought he's just the perfect age for these types of toys. So I had a conversation with our older son because obviously he knows that these were his. <laughs> and I basically told him that, um, you know, there's other kids who don't have as much as we have and we're very fortunate and lucky and blessed and all of that. And if I could ship off his little people toys to Santa, to bring to our younger son. So other kids can maybe get more than what we get because we don't need as much. So he was very on board with the idea. He loved that I could send them to Santa and Santa could bring them to our house and you know that whole um, thing. So it actually worked out really great and he was super on board. So that is what I am primarily doing for our younger son. So I will share what vehicles we are gifting him and I will link those as well. But these are the little people vehicles if you've never seen them. Most of them make noise. So I will actually have my husband put batteries in all of them. That is another parenting hack for little kids. If you have things that require batteries, definitely do it before. So <laughs> take it out of the box, put the batteries in. You could even wrap it in another box, especially for little kids. If it's something that's like strapped in there with, you know, the plastic little straps, Kids don't want to spend time like cutting everything open, sitting there waiting. So you could honestly just put it in like Amazon box and then all they're doing is unwrapping the paper and not having to actually get it out of the packaging that it's in. So he will put batteries in all these, but this is the little um, zoo train, I think is what it's called because it comes with like three animals and the um, conductor. And I already collected all the people and the little figures that go with each vehicle. So I will have the sets or the people that go with each one for each vehicle. So this is for that, but this is the first vehicle he's getting. Then he's going to get the little fire truck. And I think this one makes noise too. I think they all do actually. So he'll get the fire truck. He'll get the zoo train. He'll get the little dump truck. And then this one comes, I think with like little balls or something. It has some accessory, but he'll get that. He'll get the little school bus, the little door opens. Um, that one's cute. He'll get the little airplane and then he'll get just the regular train. So 
we had a ton of little people stuff. We still do. We have like the house, the farm, the big cruise boat, the roller coaster. And our older son, he still plays with like the little people house. He, I mean, I'm sure he'll play with these Christmas day, but these are, I feel like toys that last a good chunk of time. So I am so happy that our younger son is at the age where I feel like he is going to absolutely love this. I can repurpose and gift them. And I'm just being very practical with what I, had, I am giving him. If you have kids, you know, especially if they're not the first child, they really have everything they need. I mean, especially with me having two boys, I have every single clothing item you could imagine. I have all the toys you could imagine. And when people ask me what he needs, honestly, it's like diapers. <laughs> diapers and wipes because he's so lucky that he has all these things from his older brother. So that is the bulk of his Christmas. Now I will wrap half of them. So I'm going to wrap three of them and I have, I just keep like um, extra Amazon boxes that I feel like would be a good size just so he has something to open. And then I'm going to have three of them out with the people. So um, he will have a couple wrapped and then some unwrapped because I feel like if they're all unwrapped, it's going to be too overwhelming for him. So I just want a couple that he can see right away from Santa. Then other than that, he only has three more Santa gifts. He has a little Melissa and Doug doctor costume or outfit. So I shared with our older son that he's getting the firefighter costume. And then we also have the police costume. So this is the doctor one. He will absolutely love it. I'm going to set both out in their piles, you know, with the accessories ready to go. But he will be getting that. He'll be getting just a little bath toy. Um, you should put the rings on the octopus, but our kids love bath. They think it's so fun. It's one of those things that's kind of like a special time of the day. And I feel like bath toys are just a fun thing to get. It's something that you don't play with the whole day. It's only for bath. And me personally, anything that fills with water, I pretty much toss like every six months. Um, you know, they collect mold so fast, so I just wanna make sure they're not gross or anything. So I feel like uh, bath toys are always a good gift to give people because, you know, you replenish them often. But he'll be getting that bath toy. And then the last thing he's getting is a bubble um, push lawnmower. So he loves pushing things around. He pushes literally anything. I mean, even like the dining furniture and stuff, he will try to push around. So he has played with a couple of these before and loved it. And honestly, our older son will probably like it too. So he, um, it comes with bubbles, but then he also is getting more bubbles in his stocking and he will love that. And I'll have that completely set up for him where he's not like opening it up and all of that Christmas morning. But that is what he's getting. I only bought three things for him that are from Santa and then the rest are hand-me-downs, which is absolutely amazing. I love it. And then I did want to note that for our boys, I do have special wrapping paper that is from Santa. So I buy two different kinds and then actually my husband put it in the attic because our older son is like loves to snoop and he will find anything and everything. So I don't want him seeing like this wrapping paper and then Christmas morning thinking he saw it at our house. So it's in the attic and then I wrap each one different. So some, some things are like laid out and then some are wrapped and there's, they each have a pile and their stockings with their pile. And then that's their special wrapping paper from Santa. And then everything else that's wrapped like under the tree is just the wrapping paper that I buy, um, you know, for the family or friends and things like that. But I did want to share that. And hopefully this gave you a few ideas. I know it was primarily little people, but <laughs> That is what worked well for us, and I am very excited about it. I'm actually going to his birthdays in the summer, and so like the big roller coaster track and the cruise boat, I'm going to gift him that for his um, birthday just because I feel like they're good toys that why not gift them instead of just like take them out and, you know, bring them in the house. Um, they make a really good gift, so... I'm excited. I hope this gave you some ideas. If you need any more, like I mentioned, everything will be below and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.